The world's got some major challenges with regards to global emissions. We produce 50 billion metric tons of global emissions annually. 40% of that goes into sinks, forests, and oceans, so green and blue, and about 60% is currently emitted, and that's what we need to get down to net zero. CIBC's sole purpose is to make our clients' ambitions a reality. We've been in business since 1867. We've transformed ourselves throughout the decades and throughout the last century and a half, and our goal is to continue to do that into the future, particularly when it comes to sustainable financing activities and a sustainable future. I think partnerships are crucial, number one, because no one is going to achieve these things solo. No one is going to achieve these things in isolation. It really is about uh, sharing information. It is about evolving as data becomes more available, as information becomes more sophisticated, more advanced. We can all move forward together. CIBC is engaged in a number of partnerships. We have uh, partnerships with the Institute for Sustainable Finance. We are part of the Sustainable Finance Action Council. We are also members of Rocky Mountain Center for Climate Aligned Finance. CIBC's climate transition strategy involves, of course, a 2050 target for achieving net zero greenhouse gas emissions. And that's both with respect to our operational uh, activities and our financing activities. Banks and our clients focus on commercially viable solutions. The economics of change, the economics of sustainability need to work. And they do work when they're constructed in the right way. At the heart of change is technology and our financing of technology activities to reduce GHG emissions in the non-renewable sector, as well as Project Carbon, which is a multi-bank effort to tokenize carbon credits for those clients who wish to invest using the blockchain, using tokenization techniques, matching suppliers of carbon credits with buyers of carbon credits. CIBC is partnering with LightSource BP to help them grow their global platform. We provide financial and advisory services and of course insight from our own global platform, helping them achieve their own sustainability objectives by understanding them directly, understanding how the client wants to grow and how they want to achieve their own objectives. I suppose in its very simplest form our ambition is to to put as much solar into the world as possible. We recently have launched an initiative to increase our aspirations to do 25 gigawatts by uh, the end of 2025. Um, and I think that's born out of the fact that, you know, we have built an, an, a huge amount of momentum over the last number of years, and we're looking to fulfill um, the potential that that momentum um, allows us. Since we've done the deal with BP, we've moved from five com countries to now 15 countries. And I'm not saying that we're gonna sit back in 15 countries, we're gonna continue to add to the number of countries in order that we can continue to deliver more solar to our world. CIBC has been hugely supportive in us being able to deliver our sustainable journey. And I think that it is really essential that those larger banks, those larger financial institutions take the lead in the way that CIBC and others have done. You know, only by doing that can we make sure that we bring all the rest of the industry, whether that's banking or other financial you know, support institutions, pensions and the like, um, along with us into this space. Project Carbon is a trading platform for carbon credits and its objective is to remove friction from the voluntary carbon markets and to make it easier for everybody to transact in carbon credits, whether they be a buyer or a seller. We're also providing price transparency, which is a key feature in the voluntary carbon markets. And having price on carbon could incent additional projects, which we view as very important. And there's some great Canadian technologies that exist right now. So for example, carbon engineering, or Svante, or carbon cure, or Carbocrete. These are all emerging technologies that are either carbon avoidance or carbon removal, which is even better. And having that robust pricing will help to finance the projects and to help grow the research and development in those areas. I think the world has definitely changed. Um, I think, you know, the business as usual as set 
10 years ago is no longer going to do it. We need to redefine what business as usual means. We need to shift from the concept of gigawatts to terawatts. We need to shift from talking in terms of millions of investment to billions of investment. CIBC's involvement with LightSource really demonstrates our leadership in renewable energy. Our purpose is to make our clients' ambitions a reality. And we do that every day in everything we do with our team to serve our clients. That would include sustainability, understanding where our clients want to go with their businesses and how sustainability plays a role and how we can align our own purpose with their goals.